not one is worthy, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Not no. one. So, and God is no respecter of persons. So to say you're not worthy, well, it's you saying that. He didn't say that. He didn't, he didn't say you weren't worthy. Sleep, yeah, sleep. That, that's for sure. We're all asleep in varying degrees of intensity and intent. We're all asleep. This is a dream. And, and even if you change menus here, it's still a dream. It's all a dream. There's nothing transforming even in death. You don't get off at all. You're going to do it till you do it right. <laughs> and once you really understand that, well, you start thinking, well, yeah, maybe I get better get started on it. <laughs> that is the problem, starting in that. It really is the problem, getting started. I've had so many people that I work with, and the challenge is getting them to start. It has to be their idea. Yeah. See, you can tell them. And and, and the thing of this, someone telling you to start something is, you know. <laughs> okay. so you got, you got, you always have to treat things softly, you know, because pe people get, you know, very quickly. Do you know? Do you know? You could be in a happy mood, and someone comes along, and they, and they'll dump a story on you, and you're, you're thinking, "What? Why did? Why did? What? Why am I talking to you?" <laughs> yeah. Some things you shouldn't talk about. Yeah. Even to yourself. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's it. That's even more true. <laughs> You made me think about the scripture that says what we say in secret will be shouted on the housetop. And that comes back to what you just said. Some things we shouldn't talk about even to ourselves because, see, we think that once we say it inside, that that's it and that it doesn't show up. But then, of course, it shows up in our lives and we say, where did that come from? Yeah, it, what it is is that. You think it's in the past. See, but it does it's not sent to the past. You're talking ahead of your evidence. You're experiencing. And that's what that's what it, that's exactly what you're doing. You're dressing your world mentally and then you're walking through it and wondering well, where'd they come from? You're on all the time. Ceaselessly praying, ceaselessly. And I tell you that over and over and over, but how many of you really understand that you actually are praying ceaselessly? Because it, it, if, if, if you think so, then you'd be watching what you say much yeah. closer. Yeah. <laughs> that running off the mouth can be dangerous. <laughs> Well, yeah, I don't know. It's a very simple story, and it was made simple. And it's thank God they made it simple because otherwise I wouldn't have got it. But I didn't get it even when it was simple all that time. But finally, finally, but I had to have triggers, you see, and that. That's where Neville Goddard came in. He he triggered a thought that I had never had before. And then it it bugged me for a while, but it, it, it actually showed itself for what it was. And I realized that I had been really given a helping hand or thought. And and I, I've used it ever since. And and that I opened it and quickened it enough that it, it 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 triggered a lot of things that I had thought about before, but never really seriously. And you know, and once you once you have a revelation that everything is serious thinking, it really is. 
you 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 watch what you're saying and you're approving of what you're saying because if you're saying things you're not approving of that doesn't make any difference it's still creative so if you started something off that is is not really what you want you cancel it and you cancel it by choosing something different to think about and that can you choose your next thought see you're vulnerable to it so you better choose it <laughs> that's the problem isn't it it is it absolutely is but most people are still not choosing consciously <laughs> Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, that's it. That's it. You're walking through unconscious. And so that's what we're that's what all of this is about is be conscious of what you're doing. Be conscious of what you're thinking and approve of it. And you you just stroll through. But if you're not looking at it, not approving of it or and just letting it be just going along with what's going on, well, then you suffer what everybody else is suffering. Why? But it takes a lot to get it straight. <laughs> I have a hard time seeing that line. People wonder about their religion. What you're doing morning, noon, and night, that is your religion. And what are you getting out of it? And if you don't like it, change it. That's the beauty of this whole thing. Change your mind, change your and and you don't have to do any of the changing your your world. You're just changing your mind. That changes your world. Of see, because that's what God said. Change your mind, change your world. You're just changing your mind. God changes your world according to through subconscious mind because he's sleeping with you he's he's actually moving as you move he's thinking what you're thinking and wondering where the hell are you going <laughs> well hey that's it people beating themselves up over feeling guilty about things they've done well you were in a state of mind where that seemed to be okay, but now you've got a different state of mind, so it doesn't seem to be okay. So now you're okay because you're not doing it anymore. <laughs> hey, whatever. <laughs> did it come out right? <laughs> it did. You know, you made me, that scripture that you often quote, blessed is the man, the woman, who does not condemn themselves for that which they've allowed. Yeah, that's right. You see, because he gave you whatsoever. You understand? That's a, that would be that would be kind of like you handing a little kid a gun. See, whatsoever. You 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 have you actually have the the, the choice to choose what you will do, think feelingly about each day. You have that choice. What are you thinking about? What are you feeling? See, if you don't know, that's the reason why it's a surprise. Like, where did that come from? You know, who, who did that to me? You know, you're doing it to yourself. And until you understand that that's exactly what's happening. Hey, look, you're decorating your world according to as you think you are. And if the decoration doesn't really uh, appeal to you, well, then change it. That's all you have to do. Change your mind. That changes your world. And it, all you have to do is try it. I say try, but I mean, it says do a thing and you shall have the power. So start right there. <laughs> and that's where you should start anyway. <laughs> you, you've been starting all over the place, but How's it working out with you? You have to take you have to you have to take responsibility for yourself. Isn't that right? Absolutely. I want to go back to what you were just saying. You said, "Listen, you're constantly creating, you know, and there's nothing really with, with going on without." Many people are seeking out offense. 
So they're looking for a reason to be offended in the world, in the relationships, you know, from something they're watching on TV, from somebody playing a certain role. We're looking for all these reasons to be offended. And guess what? If you're looking for reasons to be offended, you're going to find a heap load of reasons to be offended. Plus, more will be coming because that's what has your attention. <laughs> you see, remember what Scripture tells you. All things produce after their own kind. Anger begets more anger. Begets, well, it just goes from there. I mean, it winds up wars with the whole nations. Just, do you know how many wars there started over just someone insulting someone else and and getting their ego dander up? <laughs> wars, and they send thousands of people out to get killed because of what he said, and they never did get an apology. No. Well, that's, well, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. That's it. Male, female, made he man. What are you thinking about? What are you feeling? Are you allowing your, your surroundings to charge your thinking and feeling? Or are you charging your thinking and feeling? That's the difference that makes a difference, isn't it? It absolutely is. Absolutely is. And as we get the topic, repeat, 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 you can't say it enough because for somebody, even though they've heard it a hundred times, they'll hear it for the first time. And you know exactly oh, yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. No, that that's true. I That's like scripture. I read scripture and read scripture and read. And, I, and it, it, it just, for some reason, I just couldn't wrap my mind around what they were saying. But you see, that was that, that they called it secular history. It's not secular history. It's divine history. It's a history because it's the same laws and principles of mind right here, right now, today that was then. It's just that they were a little more ignorant than we were. Yeah, probably just very little <laughs> more. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> With all our modernization, we're, we're, we're. Yeah. <laughs> that's somebody else thought it up for us. Yeah. See, if you were waiting for me to get you an automobile, whoa, you'd still be hoping it. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, that's what it is. That that's what it all is. But what what is it? Is your desire? And I'm saying desire, not just. Passion. Do you have a passion? You know, I talk to people, a lot of people, they don't have no passion for nothing. Yeah. As a matter of fact, they're constantly denying themselves any idea of a passion or, or, or even health, wealth. Yeah. They keep denying themselves when, when it's abundant. I mean, come on. You're told, seek. And you shall find. What are you seeking? If you don't know what you're seeking, then it's all a surprise. But if you know what you're seeking, if you know what your passion is, and you're you're on it, you'll know that you have it. See, th th this is not supposed to be speculation. You were told to choose this day, so. It wasn't supposed to be a surprise anyway, because you're doing the choosing. What are you? That's a question you ought to ask yourself. Am I choosing or is my, envir am my environment choosing for me? I mean, you want to be happy, you ought to know the answer. <laughs> tell them, tell them, tell them. <laughs> You said something, and I want to go back to it because I think that sometimes we can hear something and not hear it. You said, seek and you shall find. Now, many people think that the seeking is only that thing that they're seeking at a conscious level. But seeking sometimes can be illness. Sometimes it can be debt. Sometimes it can be loneliness. And we often say, see, I told you this stuff doesn't work. 
you're seeking was the stuff not working. So understand when we're talking about seeking, Mr. Lindo says it this way, you're always on. The way I got it, always on. And afraid of being all, always on, to tell you the truth, because, you know, what did I think? What was I, what was I doing? What did I think about? You know, just come on. As you think you are, you do, you have, you be on and on throughout the scriptures. It's telling you you're in charge, take charge. You're always on, take charge. And, and, and you, you, you're to claim what's yours. As I, like I said, the MF Fox wrote a whole book on just make your claim, stake your claim. And that's what you're told to do. Come forward. Say what you want. But that isn't what they talk about. They don't talk about what they want. They talk about what they're experiencing. And so you get more of what you're experiencing. And then you're saying, well, well, well what? Well, my prayers aren't answered. Oh, no, no. It tells you very plainly in there, all prayers are answered. You're just getting what you blabbed about that you didn't want to, you didn't want in the first place you know we dream up our own monsters you know we really do we we actually do dream up our own monsters and then wonder why me why this why now there it is stop dreaming up monsters think only on things that are oh i said only again think on things that are lovely and a good report <laughs> Every once in a while, I get nailed for one of those. I throw hey, words man. here or there, you know. Only's okay. O only's good. I think that sometimes we need to narrow it down. Seriously, if if we leave the options too broad, then we tend to take the broad road. That's absolutely right. And, and, and that's one of the reasons why you find that Scripture actually is very specific without being specific. Yeah. <laughs> It, it gives you it gives you enough line to hang yourself yeah. or to set yourself free or set yourself climb free. out of the hole we we dig our own holes we do because if you're thinking on the negative side man you're digging yourself in a hole it's still creative see and that's what you want to remember that thinking those negative thoughts being angry being upset yeah, those are creative of more of the same because that's the kind of thoughts that come to you when you're being negative and <laughs> repeat, repeat. No, I, I wasn't kidding about it when I said that anytime I get upset or feeling out of sorts in any way, all I have to do is just punch on a, 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 tape, a talk that I actually gave myself. And I'm going, oh, wow, that's great. <laughs> but, but no, I, no I, that's why I used to listen to Neville that way. That's how, that's how I trained myself to watch what I'm saying. Because, uh, I, you know, I, you get on a kick, you know, and, 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 and it feeds itself. You have to understand, if you let these things, you let these wild animals go, that wild talks go, uh, you know, you're setting yourself up. And that's what you're doing when you're thinking negatively, you're setting yourself up for a problem. And what's the problem? I don't know. What are you, what are you upset about? You know, don't you? If you were watching what you were thinking, you'd know. And that's the only problem you got is that you, you're blabbing out things that you really don't want to experience. But you do, and then you wonder why. That's it. So that's, that's all there is to it, isn't it? It's just paying attention. Absolutely. It absolutely is. That's true. It has your attention, has your life. What are you giving your attention to? Someone says, well, for how long? Well, how long you hold it, your attention? And if you hold it long enough, it'll set a precedent Absolutely. mindset. 
And then you'll be experiencing it even when you're not thinking about it. I mean, it's not going to tap you on my shoulder. Hey, hey, you know, no, it just happens automatically because you thought of it and you gave it permission. You, you'll say something, oh, every time I do this, that happens. Well, you set a precedent. Every time you do that, that happens. Absolutely. And and it, it, it's hard to un... It's easy to turn it on, but it's hard to turn it off. <laughs> Just remember, that it's really easy to turn it on, but boy, it's hard to turn it off. You can get mad in a second. How long does it take you to turn it off? That's it right there. And, and, and you don't have to believe any of this we talk on you. Just sit and think about it yourself. But really think about it. Actually, it's thinking from it. But you have to think about it. Yeah, that's it. You think about it for a while, and then you start thinking from it. That's true. It's a difference that makes a difference. And that's that, that's what we're looking for, the difference that makes a difference, isn't it? Absolutely. I like that you said uh, that it was subtle, and I think that it'll be missed, but I'm, so I'm going to repeat it. You said that you think about it for a moment, and then you start thinking from it. And that's how change takes place. As subtle as it may seem, you start <laughs> thinking about abundance, just kind of thinking about it at first. And pretty soon that becomes a predominant mindset. Pretty soon you start experiencing abundance, but you first have to get in mind that it's possible by thinking about it. Yeah, well, actually, knowing that, you see, makes you understand when you do start start receiving what the benefits from that. The rich person, wor I mean, the person worries about being rich, and then when they get to be rich, they're worried about getting poor again. It's true. That's that's you know they're always worried about you know watching everything so that they don't lose their money or something. But, but it happens to all of us because it, you understand this ongoing drama is conditioning us because you're hearing it over and over and over. You're learning what they're telling you, but why listen to what they're telling you? What are you telling you? See, that's what's really important. What you actually extract from what you're hearing. You're, t you're told you're supposed to guard the gate. You know, it says gate, two of them, either side, from the left or the right. You still want to, you still want to actually discern it for yourself, first person. Because if you're not, that's what coming of age is, isn't it? It is. I mean, it really, it, it, all over the world, isn't it? It is. You have a ceremony? It's supposed to work even if you didn't have a ceremony. Yeah. You, you, you can't go, you can't not have it just because you didn't have a ceremony. No, <laughs> oh, boy. You know, you were talking about um, say what you want. And along saying what you want, also, and we know that these two are joined, but sometimes it's needful to be clear. So as you're saying what you want, you're also thinking what you want. Because sometimes those are not always the same things going on. Sometimes we can say one thing, and yet we're thinking another. He's behind the voice. Yeah. You know, he's and he's there. He's there. He's listening to everything you say. Everything. Every word. Remember that. Every word must be accounted for. That's telling you right there that if you're talking nonsense, you got it coming. Yeah. You're setting yourself up. And you can set yourself up to be successful in the very same way. Yeah. Look, God says that you turn to me, I'll turn to you. So the ball's in your court. It's up, it's up to you to get up and swing. It takes your action because your inaction is is actually action anyway. You're just denying yourself, choosing what it is, and repeating. 
And that's all you have to do. Just choose the next thought. That's it. That's all you have to do. It's that, that simple. Whole world will change if you change your thought. For you. For you. But that's who we're interested in right now. You. Oh, hey, we're telling you that it works. Why would we be telling you that it works? It works. Do it. Do a thing and you shall have a power. Yeah, very simply, do a thing. He didn't say what the thing was. He didn't say if you're a religious man or, or a nice man or a total ass. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, played them, I, played, I played them all. You know, I, 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 I've run the whole gamut, man. I'll tell you. <laughs> and, and I was so relieved to hear that. Not to condemn yourself. For that which you have allowed. Blessed is the man that does not condemn himself for that which he has allowed. In other words, if you know better now, well, then it's over. That's it. That was in the past. And it's, the past is not really what we're looking at. We're looking at the future. But you're also making the future now. Absolutely. This is the appointed hour right now. And it's always today. And you're told to choose today. So you, you, you've got an opportunity every, 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 every day to change your mind, change your world. Sounds very simple, and I really understand the difficulty there is in doing it because of the conditioning you've had from the ongoing drama for years and years and years, however offered to you right here, right now. Just do it. Just turn around. And it's not that, it's not really that difficult, but based upon our conditioning it's not readily seem to be available, but it is always available. He tells you anytime. Yeah. Talk to him. I mean, what, why, who else would you want to talk to? A creator? A creator? You're, you're given to talk to the creator. He says, you talk to me. That's all there is. It's that simple. Just keep it simple, stupid. That was the remark. It got me going to kiss. Yeah, I, remember, I remember that. Yes, keep it simple, stupid. What? It hit me right where I live. Complicate everything. Get a good idea. And just play with it and play with it and play with it. And then it's gone. Good ideas. How many people had a really good idea and they just stopped thinking about it and it went away? Eight billion. <laughs> Every one of us. Every one of us. Yeah. You know, when I started this, there was 3.2 billion people in the yeah. world. Wow. And now, like you said. Eight billion. Oh, is it eight billion now? It's eight billion. Just hit it not too long ago, but uh, I'm told. Yeah, it was by some people's uh, counting, it's eight billion. Some would say a few less, whatever. But oh, by yeah, yeah, yeah by the by eight billion. Well, it's hard to keep it because there's some dying, some being born. So absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> if it'd be kind of hard to keep straight. Yeah, if it wasn't for the dying, man, could you imagine? Yeah, and. and People are living longer and living Absolutely. longer. Absolutely. So. Yep. All right, sir. Been a pleasure. <laughs> Been a pleasure. We'll talk to you it, soon. It always is. It always is. Thank you. Thank you.